It's going to be open bolt, shoot 9 mil. You'll have 25 rounds in each mag. Back here is your grip safety. Saw gun's not going to operate unless you have that in all the way. Okay, so you're going to pull this back. Boom. The mag will go in. Lean forward. Circle to the needle on your target. Is this fully auto? Yeah, it'll be full auto. <laughs> How much rise is it now? Uh, not much. It yeah, should be pretty sorry. smooth, yeah. There you go, let me get out of your way. So grip safety in, charge it, mag in. <clears throat> All right, so there you go, you pop your new mag in, you're good to go. It's done clear, right? Now. All right, wait one. I'll be right back. Which is weird. I haven't seen that happen. And now it's not coming out. There's a problem. I can create it. I broke the Frenchman gun. It's from, from Quebec, probably. That's why. Guzo, did you build this gun? Let's try that. Okay. It shoots nice actually. A lot of these older open bolt sub guns shoot smoother than some of the ones that we got nowadays. Oh, that's dumb brass. Might want to keep that on there shooting mini guns too. I tell you what, um, I'll be honest with you, I've never shot another fully automatic before. Yeah. I always expected a lot more heave on that gun. Yeah. All I can say is that gun must have been very much loved when they were using it. Like, it's light, and it's not a whole lot of rise. I was expecting that thing to kick. Like, it's not a bad pattern. I was a no, good pattern. not at all. No. Yeah, and that's, what, 15, 15 meters, something like that, 10, 15 meters. And you're able to keep them all in a group, you know, like that. You can see your first mag was the lower one, and then the second really mag was the upper to, one. I didn't really know what to expect. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I'll let you in on a secret. I didn't name. I just pointed where I thought it would go. Huh? It worked out. Worked out, yeah. yeah. Accuracy by volume. That's what I said. Yeah. Right? Well, that's yeah. <laughs> shot on a good day. <laughs> All right. I tell you what. Good. Good. It's actually not that bad. No, not at all. So that was, that was your first time full auto? Yeah. Wow. Uh, in our country, we get a slingshot and we shoot a grape in. For them to finish up the the mini or you can see we have taking two mini guns putting up our third one now so we're just waiting for you're not gonna make the bank uh, mini gun three two one fire do you feel a percussion off that you feel a percussion off it you can't feel it. You literally move your hair this one sounds like it's spun down a little bit. It's not as fast as we had up on the outside. Now, guys, the cycle rate of this gun is probably somewhere around five or six thousand rounds, or it may be detuned down a little bit. I don't know. But it tell you what, it's fast. What do we call it? Auto cannon? Yeah. It's a mini gun. Mini gun? Yeah, it's just a like Gatling gun. Well, it's pretty close to a Gatling gun. Yeah. So, yeah, six barrels. Ours are shooting about 4,000 rounds a minute. So you'll see 100 rounds gone in just over a second. Yeah. I'll tell you what. 
Whoever's running the standard issue, you're going to be with him. Again. My two running with Thank Shannon Jones are going to be with me, okay? Go ahead. Looking through here, that's your red dot, that's what you're aiming with, okay? If you start shooting, it's going to pull to the left a little bit. So put that red dot on the right side of the red circle. Okay. Then I'll yell mini, three, two, one, fire. When I yell fire, put thumbs on the buttons nice and firm. You want to get on the ground, sir. Okay? <laughs> you want to check that out? That's 100 rounds of 3 100 rounds weighs about 7 pounds. Tell you what. It's only 100 rounds. Yeah, about seven pounds per hundred. How much does your wagon or ship or whatever, or whatever you're on, your gunship, what's with the pack? Uh, well, they have the cans like that right there. Yeah. I don't think that'll fit around a thousand. Obviously, it's a ship. So, yeah, the works is easy. And, like, you can do it with one. Or with both, we tell people to do with both because if your thumbs slip off and you shoot again, then it can't cause a jam. But what they'll do is they'll shoot their burst, they'll let go and stop shooting until the barrel stop, and then you can go. Does that make sense? So anybody's ever shooting at you with a minigun, when it stops shooting, you got about one second before you get it again. <laughs> All right. I'll load it up real quick and we'll get you going for a little bit. Also, when I'm inspecting the belt, I'm making sure that all of these rounds are seated properly in the links because if they're off, that's another way that you can cause jam, a malfunction yeah. with the gun. The same with, yeah, I get, yeah. yeah. So we go through our, we have to inspect all the belts. Yeah, so this little divot there, I'm looking at to make sure that it's set properly in the, in the case. I tell you what. Yeah. How about what happened? How about half nervous? Well, that's a pain in the ass. Yeah, sometimes. All right, so you'll just be standing there like this. Make sure you move that to where it's neat, where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna yell minigun three, two, one, fire. That's. Yeah, it's locked in there, but it'll still move enough to take you out. All right. Okay. So Okay. Ready? At the same time? Yeah, so I'm going to move my hand, but. Okay, just put it up. You ready to go? Yeah. Minigun! Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> 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 mounts are, you can see normally people are hitting on the right and then the group moves to the left. So even they're, they're aiming far right on the target, they end up punching a hole over on the left side. The gun just folds that way. And then when you're shooting it, they'll have a, a tracer round every fifth round. So if you're seeing it at night, it looks like a laser beam coming out of the helicopter. Yeah, so. It's very interesting. I know a little bit about the history of this stuff, a little bit about Conversation about it. Well, as far as it goes, like the older stuff, I know a little bit out of it. Like some of the older stuff, I understand. That was the stuff. Yeah, like I said, I've never shot in any of them. We're all dealing with stuff. It's like I know just enough to get me by in conversation. There's so much to know about it. Our armor is they could put it back. Yeah. 
You see that? Stop your milk delivery! <laughs> What are you girls shooting today? Um, uh, 50 cal. Are you gonna shoot 50? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Why? Just always wanted to or what? It's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Thank you. It's my oh, perfect! Yeah. What more can you do? Where are you from? Here, Vegas. Nice. Yeah. Cool. I told you what, I wish somebody let me do that for my 60. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Uzi, nice. nine millimeter. Through the circle to the post. To the Climb on that. <laughs> you sure you don't want to shoot something? No. Get in there. He wants to shoot something. Let him go make him go shoot something. He's going to knock us. All right, all right, all right, cool. Get in there. You get your ass in there. You get your ass in there. Okay, I tell you what, my friend. Um, thanks. I don't know what else to say. Like I tell you, I'm not very speechless very often, but today I am. Uh, it is something that we just kind of stumbled across. And I tell you what, it's better than dating a Playboy model. I don't think. That's saying a lot coming for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should leave it out so I can thank you. Have a good time out there? It's better than being playboy. Um, I don't know what to say. Thanks. Um, that's the understatement of the f***ing Like, and again, it's, uh, I'm overwhelmed. Okay. So I had a good time. Um, that's the understatement. It still hasn't sunk in yet, I don't think. You guys have a safe trip back home, all right? Again, check that came off. You're welcome. Okay, my friend. Yep, take care. Okay. There's every once in a while in life at moments, and I'll have to say this is one of them. I did probably three things today that I didn't ever think I would ever get to do. Number one is drive that tank over a car. Just driving a tank, period, and driving it over the car. Number two, looking in the vault of all these old antique and interesting weapons and shooting a minigun, which there's nobody on this planet doesn't want to shoot a minigun. So all I can say is thank you, Battlefield Las Vegas. I don't know what else to say. It just won't bring a tear to my eye. <laughs>